So what's next? What's the plans for the next 12 to 18 months? What are some of the things that you're looking at moving forward? So what I'm most excited about is some technology that we are launching internally, um, which is called, uh, we're calling it Manager Hub. Um, so it's technically uh, a manager dashboard. Okay, so it's a one-stop shop for managers to get information. And we call, so I'm partnering with other folks uh, across uh, Microsoft for this. So this isn't just uh, a one HR. Yeah. Um, initiative. We're also working with folks outside of HR. Um, and we're thinking of this as an insights generation platform. Okay, so when you go as a manager, it's not just going to tell you the actions you need to take, it's going to tell you why you need to ta take those actions. Um, so we are building learning into it, we're building um, like kind of the, the basics like expense management and um, all sorts of kind of compliance things. But then we're building, you know, um, are you having one-on-ones with your um, employees and are you having connects with them, which is part of our performance and development um, construct are you giving people perspectives okay so that that is the the way we give people feedback across the company we give them perspectives and um, and so you'll you'll have a notification there that shows when you have outstanding perspectives or if you met with someone recently and um, and met with them a lot and and you haven't shared any perspectives on them okay so kind of prompting you that these are all kind of future different scenarios that we're thinking about so we're going to be integrating with uh, workplace analytics or my analytics um, to that kind of personal dashboard aspect to give you different nudges and um, it's just it, it's a great kind of cross um, cross effort that we're doing and uh, when I go out and I talk to different people analytics leaders and ask them if they have something like this no one has said they do no. okay um, a few and, people have told me they want something like that but yeah <laughs> so we're doing this internally who knows you know maybe we will will um, turn it into something that that it, you know we can we can put into a product later on but for now um, we're going to test it out internally and see how our managers um, kind of adopt this. And then we'll continue. We, we have a list of insights to put in this. You can um, keep adding those insights. Yes, yeah. exactly. So it's like the people analytics function is just kind of generating these insights. And we get insights from other places uh, around the company as well. Um, so we're really looking forward to that. We're in pilot um, uh, launch right now, and we're, we're moving towards a global launch um, sometime this year. So we're really, uh, actually sometime in the next fiscal year. So um, we're really excited about that. Yeah, so if you're a manager and you've got this nudge, effectively, if you do this, this is why you should do it, and this is what the outcome would be. Yes, so training. On, yeah. We're so excited to be able to say, hey, you're a new manager. Did you know that if you take this manager's essentials class, your workplace health index may go up by 10% because that's what we normally see. That's the, you know, when we did the analysis, we saw that that compared to folks that did not take yeah. that manager's essentials class, that was kind of the difference. Now we can't promise you that that's going to happen. You could be a horrible manager and still take the class and it doesn't help you, but, um, you you know, we want to try to give you those those uh, insights uh, where we can. And it's like the onboarding work that you did. You know, you proved that the ports of a buddy, for example, for so I presume you can put nudge managers to make sure that each yep. one you start is a buddy. Absolutely, and... you have a new hire coming next week. Do they have a buddy yet? You yeah. know, and and all of that will be links and and places to get content and uh, and more information. Um, you know, people will be able to see their results of our annual engagement survey through this, and so it's just one stop. Right Right now we make managers go to about 50 different websites okay for everything that they have to do um, so to be able to go to one place and 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 find all of this um, is is pretty it's it's going to be we think it's going to be pretty amazing and at the same time um, we're also working on employee hub okay so it's manager hub employee hub and so it, it's it's kind of this notion that um, how do you add value to the employees as you said before and and so we're, we'll think of that as well right now we are more focused on um, the manager Hub, just we have a lot of insights, and yep. and we just had a, a really big launch of manager expectations um, and values in the last couple weeks, and so it's it, this is the platform in which we're using um, to really um, enable these manager expectations to come to life through technology. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe via your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.